Hey guys, what's up? This is GamerBlake90, your proud chief of the Blue Blurs. I figured I'd take some time out of my day to help Codename Gamma get this video out there, as it's something you guys are going to want to know about if you're playing Sonic Origins. So, let's not waste any time, let's go ahead and jump right into things. There's recently been an update for Sonic Origins, and it introduces a handful of changes. The most significant of these changes is that we've gotten a variety of extra features we can play around with in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and all of these can be accessed by using the sound test in the level select menu. Of course, you'll need to code from the level select itself, which is easy enough to memorize. First, go to the title screen for Sonic 3 and Knuckles, then input the following. Up, up, down, down, up, 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 and up. If done correctly, you should hear a ring sound effect. You can then press any button and keep scrolling down until you see sound test. You'll then click it, and there you go. There is the level select, along with the sound test located all the way at the lower right. From here on out, you can use the sound test to input codes and unlock interesting features, some of which are downright wacky. I'm just gonna say it right now. Some important things to keep in mind going forward. For as long as you've input the code correctly, you will always hear a sound effect. If you don't hear anything, it can mean one of two different things. Either the code you're going for is not a thing, or it wasn't typed correctly and you need to try it again. With that in mind, let's go over what each of these codes entail. We're going to start small here. The first code is 19790811. Inputting this code will turn all the flickies that you'll rescue by beating badniks into squirrels. The next code is one you'll probably know about already, but it's 4126. Inputting this code gives you all the Chaos Emeralds. If you input this code again, you'll get all of the Super Emeralds as well, giving you access to your Hyper Form. And this code works for all characters before anybody asks. For this next code, you'll need to be playing the game in Classic Mode, as it involves Continues, which are, you know, kinda pointless to have if you're playing the game with infinite lives, right? So, when in Classic Mode, Go to the sound test and input the following, 19921124. Doing so will give you infinite continues. You'll still get game overs if you run out of lives, and with it comes the added inconvenience of having to start the zone over in Act 1, if you're in Act 2 when that happens. But you'll have infinite continues, meaning that you've basically given yourself a stand-in for anniversary mode where you have infinite lives. Sort of. It's a band-aid style of fix, but hey, it's something. Now you can enjoy a stand-in for Anniversary Mode and the wallpapers all at once. Now let's go back to Anniversary Mode and try this next code. 20170815 You guys might remember the Egg Reverie boss in Sonic Mania where you could fly around in your super form. You might also remember that you have a similar benefit in the Doomsday Zone. By inputting this code, you've given your super or hyper form the ability to fly all around the stages. And you also get the Air Dash that is seen during the Egg Reverie boss, but be careful because every time you use it, it drains 5 rings. Of course, if you're using debug mode, then you really don't need to worry about that now, do you? And while we're talking about the super and hyper forms, there's another code you can use that turns off the super music. 6214. Whatever opinions you might have on the super music and origins, if you prefer to hear the stage music while in your super or hyper form, this code will be helpful, and pretty easy to remember as it's only 4 digits long just like the Emerald code. Next up, we've got a code for a competition mode. Normally the physics in the competition mode stages differ greatly from those seen in the base stages, but with this code, you can equalize the physics between both sets of stages, as well as give Sonic back his moveset with a drop dash and the insta shield. Just input the code 32160, and you've got normal gameplay in competition mode. Although looking at it now, I can see why they kind of tamper with the physics. <laughs> this next code changes up the brandy for Sonic 3 by removing the end knuckles part of the title logo and the title cards that come up at the beginning of each stage. To do this, just input the following. 19940202 and see what happens. It'll be like playing Sonic 3, but without the Sonic and Knuckles lock on cartridge, yet still enjoying the benefits of the complete stage list. This next code you'll likely be familiar with, but I tend to forget about it myself at times, so let's remind y'all about it anyway. This code for the debug mode. Simply input 19941018, and then whenever you launch any stage, you'll get to look at the game through the lens of a developer. For the most part, 
it's not like you'll be able to remake mistakes on the spot, but you do get to look at the stage boundaries, apply a list of items, whether it be item boxes, rings, badniks, stage interactions, and so on, and even play with anti-gravity. This next code appears to trigger a camera lock, meaning that no matter how fast you go, the camera will always be able to keep up with you. Input the code 226372 to activate this camera lock. I experimented using Hydro City Act 2 to see the effects of this code, and yeah, it keeps up with me no matter how fast I go, even in my hyper form. Pretty nice. Next up, a code for Penguinator Badniks only. It's kind of like the Squirrels only code, but for Badniks this time. Input the code 19990306 to change all of the enemies in any stage into Penguinators. I thought we were in Egypt, not Halaska. What the heck is this? You can randomize the monitors with this 5 digit code, 47981. It turns all the item boxes into question mark monitors, so you'll never know what you'll get. If you prefer something that's a little more consistent, I might have the code for you. Input 19910623 to change all of the shield monitors in any stage to the blue shields in Sonic 1 or Sonic 2. It's basically a normal shield without any of the special properties from a Sonic 3 shield. You'll still have the ring monitors, as well as the coin monitors, but all of the shields will be replaced by the normal shield. Next up, input 19930923 to activate the super peel out in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Oh, we're playing Sonic 3 Air now? You can activate the super peel out normally, just like you would in Sonic CD, but you'll also see the animation for it when you're moving at maximum speed. Pretty cool. This next code is a little weird, so try to follow me here. Input 20011013 to replace all the items with question mark monitors. Only these are not randomized like they normally are. Break any of these item boxes and you'll get a... Oh, banana. Come on, you all know I had to say it. Yeah. Although... I think it's actually Sega's way of referencing another franchise that they own. What was it called again? Monkey Super? Super something? I don't know. Help me out here. Be careful not to run over any of these, or you're gonna have a nice trip. Now, here's the last code, but only use this one if you are brave enough to try it. Inputting eight zeros in a row essentially unlocks a brutal difficulty level, as all the rings, monitors, and special stage rings will be taken out of the game. It's only going to be you and your level of skill. No rings, but you'll have checkpoints, so that's somewhat of a crutch to lean on. Still, this is going to be crazy, so if you think you're good enough to try it, good luck. And that covers all the codes that have been unlocked for Sonic 3, thanks to the latest update for Sonic Origins. We hope you guys find this video useful, and next time you boot up the game, you might give these codes a try. I think you'll be amazed by how much your experience of the game will change right there. That does it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe to Codename Gamma's channel. She absolutely deserves your support, especially with how hard she works on her content. And while I'm at it, I guess I could point you guys towards my channel too, if you'd be interested in looking it up. I also post Sonic content there. You might like it, you might not. I'll leave it up to you. Was a pleasure to help Codename Gamma out with this video, and I hope to work together on another video sometime. Until then, I'm out. See y'all next time. Enjoy Origins, and don't forget, as my community always likes to say, Blue Blurs for life! Later!